What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm not going to sing the rest of it. (laughs) For those of you that remember that, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. But here we are on Work For It Wednesday. Work For It Wednesday. Y'all know what we do. We put that work in. It's it's another great day outside. Make sure that you get out, enjoy the sunshine, get that healthy exercise in. As my as my girl, a business uh, business associate, Coach Marcy talks about, get that exercise in, eat healthy. That's what we're trying to do uh, in order to be able to be and maintain where we uh, where we want to be as far as uh, weight weight weight. Um, weight-wise and also health-wise uh, as well too. So you want to definitely do that. Get your exercise in. Put that work in. That's what we do. And y'all know this week, what are we talking about? The five steps to entrepreneur uh, and leadership success. How do you have success as an entrepreneur, as a uh, as a leader? We talked Monday about knowing your your worth, understanding your value, we t- and having values. Uh, yesterday we talked about success cost. Today we're going to talk about discipline. What discipline do you have? I'm going to tell you, success begins with discipline. Discipline is having and incorporating structure into what it is that you want to do. Putting a plan together. It, it, it includes having um, having a black print that you can go by in order to be able to accomplish the goal and get the results that you want to be able to get. There's not one successful, there's not one uh, wealthy person that did not get to where they are without discipline. When you are undisciplined, you 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 will not. You will not be successful, I promise you. Discipline is a part of success. You've got to be willing to be disciplined in what you do and, and how you do it. you got to be purposeful in, in, in what you do. That's putting, putting the, the time in, not just putting the time in, but putting the structure in place to know exactly what you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it. That's that's what what just getting up in the morning for me doing my hour walk. That's discipline. Doing it in spite of whether I feel like it or not, because there are days that I don't feel like working. There are days that you're not gonna feel like working. But because of the discipline that you have, that allows you to be able to. And that's really what discipline is. Discipline is being the ability to be able to do what you want to do. When you don't feel like doing it. Yeah. The ability to do what you want to do. When you don't feel like doing it. That's discipline. So what discipline have you instilled in your your day? What discipline have you instilled in your lifestyle? In order to be able to have a healthy lifestyle. And that's healthy lifestyle. That's that's mentally, physically emotionally, uh, psychologically, spiritually, in order to be able to have a healthy lifestyle, you've got to be disciplined in all those areas. You've got to be disciplined. You've got to have that structure in place so that you can, can accomplish what it is that you need to accomplish on a daily basis. Because without it, you'll find yourself all over the place. You ever notice that some people they're, they're they're doing this this uh they're selling this product at one time and then they they're on to another product at another time that two years later or a year later three years later five years later they're doing something else that's that's not that's being unsuccessful at having discipline because you're jumping all over the place instead of being focused on I hope y'all can see me being focused on one particular thing or a particular um, 
couple of, you know, strategically focusing on a couple of things of getting the shadows, y'all. So that you can be able to know what it is that you're trying to accomplish and that you can accomplish it. If you're focusing on, you know, several different things and trying to do several different things at, at the same time, then, and you have no discipline, you have no structure, you you won't be successful. It's almost like on a per, on the personal side, people talk, and I know y'all y'all don't come from what I'm about to say, but people that want to date multiple people at the same time, I've always said you can't focus on you know the the, the several different people because. You know, because you can't give them your full attention. I'll say it that way. You can't give them your full attention. You aren't disciplined in being focused on them at that time. It may be that one person at that time, but those those other people, you're you're gonna you're gonna contrast. You're gonna compare all of those things. Same thing in business. If you're running all over the place trying to do this and do that, and I know we we have to have seven streams of income, but those that are successful at that. They have discipline. They have structure. Here's, here's the last thing, and, and I know that the um, everybody's been talking about it. They've been talking about the young lady that plays for the LSU Tigers. She's from she's from Baltimore. Whole town's Baltimore. <clears throat> LSU, Baltimore represent. Awesome, awesome game. One of the best games. It was actually better than the men's uh, NCAA championship game. But they've been talking about this young lady, and she said something that I thought was really great, and I thought it applied to having discipline. Discipline takes grit, discipline takes tenacity, and discipline takes having that dog in you. And, and what I mean by that, having that dog in you, is having that passion in, in you for what it is that you do, that you are so passionate about what it is that you want to accomplish. That you you get you you get up, wake up, thinking about doing that thing. That's how committed you are. You want to put you put in place the practice. Now the 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 LSU they played a great game, and I were actually they 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 didn't play a good game this one, but the the game prior, the young lady that that they are all up in the rule about, you know, for for make the young lady from LSU to make it, but LSU. Outplayed Iowa. Now, I, the Iowa outplayed South Carolina the the um, what the two days before, and you could see it. It was because of the, the what was the difference? It was discipline. That's what makes you as an entrepreneur. That's what makes you a leader, different from everybody else. Is you have the discipline and you are able to keep everybody. That is listening to you or that is working for you, that's doing things uh, with you, you're able to keep them structured. You're able to keep them focused. You're able to get out of them what you need to get out of them, even when they don't feel like it. And, and that's what LSU was able to do in their game. <clears throat> they were more disciplined in what they wanted to accomplish in running their plays in in doing what they wanted to do versus our where our our wasn't as disciplined and structured in what they wanted to do they got outplayed and and that's the difference between those who win those who are successful those who are champions those who are wealthy and then those who don't get there you ever see a, a game where two teams are evenly matched? You have two teams that are evenly matched, and you'll hear commentators, or I know I think about this as well too, is the difference is the discipline that that the team that wins or will win has. Because if we're evenly matched, it's going to come down to how I execute, and it comes down to what I've done uh, from a discipline perspective in practice. Did I did I go over that play time and time and time and time again? Ye- several years ago when the New England Patriots won the Super Bowl against the Seattle Seahawks. And Pete Carroll did the dumbest play in 
football history. And I'm talking not just the NFL. I'm talking about all the way down to the Pee Wee League. Dumbest play ever. You're on the one-yard line. And you decide to pass the ball. And and the uh, the safety, Butler, steps in front. But he sees the play that they're running. And he knows the play that they're running. Because they had practiced, practiced that play in practice so he knew what to do knew what they were likely to do and he anticipated right but he was able to do it because he was disciplined in his assignment so today be disciplined in your assignment be disciplined in what you want to to do you put the work in you've done the work you know what you need to do be disciplined enough today and the rest of this week to do it. That's what we're talking about today. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, leaders are successful when they are disciplined. Take that dose of discipline today, y'all, and accomplish <laughs> accomplish your goal. I know you, you're going to be able to do it and feel great at the end of the day. Like I said, go get Go get go get some uh, go get some of this this great weather out here. The weather's hopefully really starting hopefully starting to break. You'll be able to enjoy it. You'll be able to have it. Success takes discipline. Now we're gonna talk about tomorrow. We're gonna talk about consistency because that's the second part of it. But make sure Come on. make sure that in what you do today, everything that you do today, be disciplined in it. Be disciplined in it. And those that work with you, work for you, make sure anybody that's around you, they operate in discipline. That'll make you operate better. That'll make you more successful. That'll make them more successful. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the impact builder. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow when we talk about consistency. We'll talk to y'all soon. Have a great, great day.